morning, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. I'm really very happy that I can spend a few minutes with you today and to start this conference. And uh, what I would like to tell is uh, several things, several explanations, actually why, why Rector is speaking here on this specialized conference. While he is physicist, I'm, I'm a nuclear physicist, working at CERN, actually, uh, a part of my uh, current office obligations. Um, but this can be explained, and things has to be explained, as Michal already mentioned, uh, towards, the, towards the problem of AI explainability. And um, so let me, uh, let me talk uh, a while about the broader scope of what's going on here uh, at the university and uh, in broader sense in the Czech Republic and Europe uh, in direction of concentration of our efforts uh, in AI serving to the security of citizens, safety of citizens, because this is a topic of a uh, big project of EU-sized uh, network which should uh, concentrate the f effort and forces and all uh, the important stakeholders as a part of currently running call of Horizon 2020. And we are preparing exactly uh, in that direction a proposal which is called Foundations of AI for Citizen Safety, which will be a network of excellence. So, how it happened that I'm here? Um, well, this kind of project, a very broad project uh, with international uh, uh, structure, actually was started by Michael, who just left. Uh, the idea of uh, building uh, a topic which uh, is really strongly based uh, in Czech Republic and also we have analyzed very precisely what are the links of uh, our Czech institutions and Czech infrastructure towards the European colleagues, uh, many of uh, those are here, I guess, today, and also to the industrial partners. And uh, the topic which I just mentioned is, uh, I think, very well chosen, strong point where we can really push to make uh, Europe different, to make something what will serve to, to citizens of Europe, because uh, if, I, if I'm contemplating about the applications of AI systems um, with respect to, to the citizens, we, we of course see in some parts of the world uh, what I would call a misuse of AI systems uh, for which, which, which are trying to steer citizens. This is something what is very far from European values, which we would like to keep. And uh, so our project is uh, based on an opposite, uh, opposite approach to help to secure uh, citizens, to secure society against the attacks, against uh, all threats which are coming from the cyberspace and which are already now, not in the future, but already now, uh, driven by AI systems, which are very clever and they are attacking us from uh, several, uh, several ways. Even the CERN uh, laboratory at Geneva, which I mentioned, is attacked um, on a daily basis, actually. I'm doing their physics, but I know that, that this problem exists because it's a very popular place, so the hackers and um, many, many people are trying to uh, come into our systems and to do something uh, malicious. But uh, what concerns us in uh, the project which I'm, I'm coordinating is something much, much broader. It's, it's a way uh, how to help from the foundations of AI disciplines, namely, let's say, from the several pillars, which I will just, just now name, uh, 
which are theoretical, how to come into the practical application, how to integrate everything uh, together in use cases, uh, how to cooperate with, with the society and how to cooperate with industry. So what we are, what we have as the pillars of, of this activity is uh, uh, pillar one, uh, lack one is machine learning for image and video analytics. Uh, obviously, uh, very important for broad data input, which comes from, from video. Uh, AI for fact manipulation detection. If we are thinking about the quality of information which we are getting from media, for example, and we want to avoid fake news and so on. Of course, the already mentioned verification, explainability and safety of AI. And that's uh, another important point. Then another uh, way how the AI can help uh, is uh, the AI for, for safety and rescue robotics, which has also a long history and successful history uh, here at our institutions. And uh, machine learning for cyber security is another pillar of, of this uh, project which we are preparing. And um, of course, all these are technological aspects which, uh, and the theoretical and technological aspects which should be uh, complemented by uh, something what will form AI into something uh, useful for the society and not a threat to the society. So we need to uh, secure fundamental rights of people against the AI, to regulate AI, to, 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 tackle, also, uh, to tackle also the ethical aspects of AI. So that will be another branch of our project. So and all this together uh, at this moment will uh, will uh, cover uh, a network uh, or will be realized in network of 35 or 36 partners all over the Europe. And we hope that this way we will contribute to the topic which is actually discussed or will be discussed today uh, at uh, the conference. So while Michal was speaking here, he was a nice uh, title. Uh, how the AI will, in future, if I remember correctly, uh, form our, uh, our society. I think it's, it's already now happening. We are, in fact, in, in a war uh, in this sense. And uh, I'm really happy that you came here from Avast, from, from, from our university, from many other uh, other. Uh, institutes, I guess, to uh, come and try to solve these problems, which which are really critical for for the society, for our European values, and uh, also for the future of free people. If, if I can uh, say, and uh, this is really my feeling, that we can help a lot uh, in this direction, and this particular topic of research and application is very, very important for the future. So, once again, I would like to uh, welcome you on behalf of our university here in Prague, and I'm happy that, that Michal already announced that there will be a next uh, conference of this kind next year, and we will be happy to uh, help again and to co-organize this conference um, next year. So have a nice day uh, full of interesting uh, talks and thoughts. And uh, I'm happy to be here right now for a while, but unfortunately I cannot stay for, for the rest of the day, but uh, I'm, I will really miss that opportunity. It's, it's, a, it's a pity. So have a nice conference and welcome in Prague.